I recently went on a group tour of Rome to Barcelona by train for nine days with the group travel company Kentiki. This video is the Italy portion of that trip. I flew from Nashville to Atlanta and into Rome. From the Rome airport, I took the Leonardo Express train to Roma Termini train station in the city center. For our one night in Rome, we stayed at the Hotel St. Martin that was about a 10 minute walk from the train station. Okay, so you walk in, there's a full length mirror. And to the left is the bathroom. So really nice shower, sink, toilet and bidet, really nice. And then we have twin beds for me and my roommate to share. So pretty nice hotel room. Heading on our first Metro ride. <laughs> Going to do a tour of Rome and then have dinner. Okay, we just stopped at the Coliseum. Now we're continuing our tour on further. There's some of the group back there. It's not a building, it is a monument. Now this is a monument to a king. Legend says that if you toss one coin over your left shoulder into the Trevi Fountain, you will return to Rome. Two coins, you will fall in love with an attractive Italian. Three coins, you will marry the person that you met. Good morning. <laughs> morning. morning. Buongiorno. <laughs> We're in our Uber all the, on the way to the Pantheon. Okay, we just got out of our Uber. It was a quick Uber ride from the hotel. Um, normally, we would have just taken the metro, but we're kind of on a time crunch before we are needing to head out to our next city. So we're at the Pantheon now. You do need a reservation a day in advance, even though it's free. Last time I was here, there was no reservation. So that's a change that's kind of unfortunate. So we're just gonna walk around and explore a little bit and go from there. Sweaty. Like I was saying, that's one thing I do enjoy <laughs> about Rome is because of the tall buildings, the sun doesn't hit here, so you have so much shade and a cool breeze. <laughs> we never did it. <laughs> Alyssa didn't throw a coin in the last night. Okay, last night when we were here. Here, I have a coin. Throw one in. I only have two. Do you have a point? Yeah. You know, oh. Made it to the train station here in Rome. We're getting ready to hop on the train to go to La Spezia, just outside the Cinque Terre, and that's about a four hour ride. Um, all straight. There's gonna be some stops, but we're not getting off, so it's gonna be a fun four hours. Hey, we got off the train in La Spezia. Now we're walking to our hotel. So gorgeous. So after we get checked in, we're gonna go walking around and exploring La Spezia a little bit more. For our two nights in La Spezia, we stayed at the Poet Hotel. La Spezia is a really nice base. If you wanna go explore the Cinque Terre, you can stay in La Spezia and just take the train to any of the five towns. Okay, so here is our room, twin beds again. And we have some desks, 
a little balcony here, full length mirror, little closet, and then another spacious bathroom. Welcome to our crib. <laughs> Our balcony is so pretty. So we have some views here and then some really beautiful views of the buildings and the hillside all right there. Hey guys. <laughs> Alyssa, get off your phone. My parents were like, now that you're not solo, we don't get as many texts. <laughs> so we've been walking around. We made it to the water, the mountains in the background and just kind of leisurely enjoying the cool breeze with the coastal vibes. <laughs> Most of the restaurants don't open till like 7, 7.30 in the evening for dinner. So we're just walking around and just kind of taking in the scenery until we go eat. And then tomorrow we're gonna have our day of hopping on trains, hopping off and exploring all the five towns of the Cinque Terre and and just have some fun there. So we're gonna do some more walking around and then probably join some of the group at a pub. Some of them are watching a soccer game or football for you, not Americans. <laughs> so we'll join them and then probably go out to dinner after that and eat somewhere local. dinner we went to get drinks at the Jay Gatsby bar which was really cool they had signature cocktails after every one of Quentin Tarantino's movies the next day we hopped on and off the train visiting all of the five towns of the Cinque Terre all right we're in Cornelia and there are steps all the way up to the city center we are gonna turn around hop on the train and go somewhere a little less stair heavy walking around Vernazza. Gonna go find some place to eat and have an espresso. Oh, I think we found the beach. <laughs> Got our morning cappuccino. Starting off right and just kind of relaxing in Vernazza. I think we might be on the right path this time. Follow the signs, follow the signs. <laughs> we made it. So the views of the sea are so beautiful, but it is so hot. I don't know if you can see the sweat trickling down my face. Definitely wear loose fitting clothes and breathable clothes and maybe no sleeves because it is a trek up with the steps so definitely not accessible <laughs> if you have any mobility issues or concerns but definitely worth it these views are so amazing the water is just such a dark blue with the white boats in the water it's so pretty definitely worth it what was it two euro yeah, yeah two euro for a ticket up and then you get these amazing views.
<laughs> just photobombing Alyssa's picture. I'm just sitting right behind her. <laughs> but look at these views. I oh, like that water. Love it. Alrighty, so we have made it down from Castello Doria and seeing Vernazza. We're at the train station, gonna head to Monterosa and check that town out and see what we have going on. Feeling the cool breeze here in the shade. Uh, so nice. Just, it is hot. Of course, I knew that going in. I mean, it's beginning of August, the hottest of hot seasons. But in case you weren't aware, it is hot. <laughs> we attempted to go to the beach, but it is at capacity and full. So now we're just walking along the coastline. There's the crew. Alyssa, yeah. Kelsey. <laughs> We are finished with Monterosa and on our way to Manarola at the train station now. Wait for the train. We are now in Manarola, city behind. We're gonna go down and do some exploring. And once again, sweat in the sun. You guys are probably so tired of hearing me say that, but so far, really pretty. Lots of things to see, very colorful. Do you see all the people on the staircase? To your left, to your left. Now we're just looking at people jumping off the rock here into the water. It looks kind of dangerous. So, but they're having fun. They're all kids, but maybe it's just me and my old self being a scaredy cat. <laughs> here is the beautiful view that everyone takes pictures of in the Cinque Terre here in Manarola. We are walking then down from the vantage point after getting pictures, photo ops and everything. I'm gonna go find a place to sit down, get some drinks, maybe get some gelato and find some shade, cool down and just enjoy ourselves. We have a boat tour tonight, a sunset boat tour. So we'll just kind of relax and chill in the shade until then, might leave here a little early and go to the next town where our boat tour is at. Look at our view. <laughs> we are headed to our boat, what is it? Sunset cruise. Okay, we're headed to our sunset cruise, going to the docking point. I, re I typed it in. So, there are some of our groups already there. About a couple minute walk from distance away, so should be there soon, but we're in this tunnel now, and it's very interesting. Left the tunnel. This is recording. Going down this way to the marina. Hopefully we can find it, we're not gonna be running late. Ooh, everyone's running around in their swimsuits. <laughs> so we made it to the marina. Now we're just waiting for the rest of our group to arrive and then we'll head on to the boat. Some of our peeps <laughs> had to take a taxi because some of the trains had broken down. So hopefully they make it in time. We shall see. Got some water, so they'll be serving wine and Maybe some appetizers on the boat, but definitely wanted some water to hydrate.
wanna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Everything's on my mind Taking off, we've left the ground You You gotta understand That we get one chance, one chance You Bye.